Welcome to Stars of Iowa. It's caught in the crossfire. Hey guys, Trip with Stars of Iowa here today, and we're gonna be shooting at the place I work makes uh, quartz countertops. So we're gonna see what some different calibers will do to it. I've got a 22, a 223, a 12 gauge shotgun, and a 9 mil. So we're going to see the differences between what it does to it. So we're just going to get to it. I'm going to start off with the 22. Going hot. Let's go check it out. Right there. Just a little dent. You can see where all the lead's at and stuff, so. So there you go, guys. Uh, quartz is bulletproof to 22. Probably go with the 9 mil. I'm going with the 9, nine mil next. Full metal jacket. We are going hot. Well, didn't really expect that one, guys. I don't know. Let me see here. It's a puzzle. It came off like this. I'm not sure exactly how that one fell, guys, but uh, probably hit somewhere right there in the center shattered the crap out of it so quartz I can't really tell you we'll try to check the other camera to see if you could tell what it hit and if it just kind of shattered it and deflected because of force or if it went through it can't really tell you if that one's bulletproof or not guys so set these small pieces off to the side I'll try to get this bigger piece up and we'll go to the next one so we'll start off to see what full metal does and we'll go from there so I am going hot so definitely kind of expected that one from the get-go guys Figured there would be enough force in that to go through it. Probably hit just right yeah. in here down the corner. So, so guys, again, we're gonna take a couple steps here so I don't destroy the other camera. So this time I have 12 gauge universal shot. So it's like bird and clay target round. So I'm gonna see what that'll do to it. Going hot. Going hot. Going hot. Going hot. It blew back a little bit. I, I felt it. Yeah, just a little bit. That's yep. why, guys, don't ever do this at home, okay? <laughs> Do it with a professional, someone who's been doing it for a lot of years. Do not try this stuff at home. Safety first, guys. Yep. So. That piece. The shot stayed together pretty well. You know, we weren't that far away, so shot should have stayed together pretty well. Is it? 
That's what I'm wondering. Did it scatter it a little bit? Yeah, it's got it's, it's got some there. nicks in it, guys. Yeah. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but yeah. So, all right. So the next treat that we have for you guys is I have a whole nother piece. We're gonna see what a 12 gauge slug will do to it. Now, obviously, guys, this one is just for fun. We can pretty much guess what this is gonna do to it if the rest of the caliber is dead. This one is just for just for the fun of it. All right, going hot. Watch the earmuffs there, kick them right off. How are those earmuffs working, by the way? They are working pretty good. We just made a video. Hopefully, we got that one out before this one of how these things work, guys. And let me tell you, I can hear the wind. I can hear our feet walking through the grass. I can hear every time you load around into a mag perfectly because it amplifies all that. But when it comes to the shot, you hardly hear anything. That shotgun, I would have thought I shot that. Somebody else shot it from a ways away. Working pretty good, guys. I would definitely suggest these. These are nice. So, holy wow. It annihilated it. Yeah, just shattered the crap out of it. There's part of the wad. I'm going to try to see if we could find where the slug impacted, but... I don't know if that's gonna happen. Too much crap around it. So. But, there you go guys. That's what happens, quartz, when you shoot it with those different calibers. Definitely pretty interesting. 22, obviously. You know, a little smaller, slower round, so. But I would definitely think, maybe next time we'll try a couple of them stacked up, see how many it'll go through. So, I'm Trip with Wolf. We're Stars of Iowa, and we'll see you guys next time.